Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about uncontrolled components. So first of all, let's look on the points. Then we will jump on uh, theoretical, practical, and, and interview questions. So we will learn what is uncontrolled component. Then we will make a component, and we will define some field inside it with the form. And after that, I will show you a complete example of uncontrolled component, and we will compare it with the controlled component also. Then I will provide you the answer of my previous video's uh, question and again I will ask you one more question. You can attempt this question in a comment box and this is my Instagram account if you just don't want to join me here, right? So first question is what is uncontrolled component? So components which have some input fields and they are not handled by react state. They are handled by directly DOM or react ref right so these are the uncontrolled component so now let's uh, look on the example and uh, i will just show you the example that how you can handle a component with the ref as well as direct javascript dom control right so this is my uh, app.js component and uh, this is my output screen right so first of all i'm just going to make a form and define some field inside it Right, so just make a form and uh, define input field type and uh, let's say type is text then uh, we can just close it and let's add some br tags so that we can just maintain some space right let's add two br tags and define one more input field here and uh, after that we can just make a button on it and just write here a submit so now whenever you will just try to submit it you will just find that this form is actually reloading right so what we need to do here we have to stop this reloading because in react js or single page application we are not reloading the page because this is actually violate the rules of single page application right so uh, let's uh, just define a submit event here on submit and on this submit we will just call a submit form function right mm, right and uh, let's define this function and whenever we will just submit any form it have a by default parameter which is event right and uh, we have to just write here event dot prevent default it will just stop its by default behavior and it will just going to stop reload right so just wrote right here prevent default right and uh, now let's try is it still reloading or not now you can see that this is not reloading and we can just remove this question mark right this is not loading that's great now just I just want to catch these two fields value let's say I'm just going to put some name and some values and on a submit I want to get my name and this value so that what I'm just going to use I will I can use here state but uh, this is an uncontrolled component example so we cannot use state here right if we use state here then it will be a, a controlled component so what I'm just going to do I am going to do use here ref so just right here use ref and uh, let's just define uh, some ref here let's say name ref right and uh, it will be uh, output form take output form use ref and uh, by default parameter can be null and again I have a one more field let's say pass password ref right so these two reference will be take a uh, first and second input right and now we can just define a property ref and bind it with the reference right name ref and second one let's bind it with the password ref and now these two fields are controlled by the name ref and password ref so what I like we can do here let's just make a console dot one and put here input one 
value is and just write here name ref dot current dot uh, value right and uh, for the second one we can just take a value from a password ref right and uh, let's try to just get this value again let's say name anil and password 123 and now you can see that we are able to get the val both values so that's great so is it is it the only one way to just get the values with the ref no even you can use uh, directly javascript code to get the values and this is still be a uncontrolled component because still we are not using the react state how let me just show you example so let's say i have one more field and uh, it don't have any ref but it have id let's say email right and now what i'm just going to do i will just get this field id with the behalf of uh, get this uh, fields value with the behalf of id how let take a uh, let i email and uh, just get the id value by the id document dot get element by id and just put here email or you can also use here value right then uh, just console dot warn it and put here input three value is um, mm, just simply put here email right with the comma and now let's see so let's say i'm putting here some email id let's say jet at the rate test and now you can see that we are able to get the third fields value also right so this is the way that uh, how you can use the uncontrolled components in last video i asked that can we use controlled uh, component with inside the class component also yes you can use even you can use controlled and uncontrolled component inside class categories component as well as functional you can use in anywhere right there is no problem so for this video i have a question so let's say in a same component two fields are controlled by ref and two fields are controlled by state so what do you call it will a controlled component or uncontrolled component right so thanks for watching this video bye bye take care